Prima Media is interviewing Umsolisi Jaliza, the executive chairperson of the Strategic Partners Group, which is the empowerment partner in the Gau train. When the current Gau train concession expires in 2026, will you continue to be a Gau train participant? The end of the concession is rapidly approaching. And SPG's how train involvement since the start of the operations in 2012 has been a major and most successful component uh, of the company's business profile. As a viable Black Economic Empowerment Entity. SPG is vigorously committed to extension its Houdrain involvement beyond the 2026 uh, termination of the existing concession. However, SPG continues its role as a Houdrain partner. We understand that it is not a foregone conclusion that we are going to be the ones who are given again this kind of, of uh, opportunity. Um, the the Houdrain, as you know, is the rapid transport system which is owned by the Gauteng government and it has been made clear that a, a appointment of the organizations to maintain, upgrade and modernize the, the how train for what will probably be a 15 year extension program will be subject to to a tender process. So we are not just going to be the ones who will be given this opportunity, but we would like to be the ones who must be chosen because of what we can do. And when it is proclaimed, the company will definitely um, enter the tender process, which will most likely be conducted under the jurisdiction of the Houghton MEC for transport and logistics. When we started the, the Houghton train, there were four shareholders. It was Bombardier from uh, UK, uh, Buick from France, Marianne Roberts from South Africa, and Strategic Partners Group. Each of those entities had 25%. All of us had to go and, and raise money. And I must say, uh, SPG also raised its money. However, when we started the development, our colleagues were, were concerned that uh, SPG as a, an, a startup company is going to delay the process. And we understood that. However, we said, all right, if you want us to take a, a smaller portion uh, compared to others, then you will have to compensate us for what is foregone to, uh, by us. And hence, we're given a, a number of, of things, well, uh, what, what we call revenue enhancement. So they must enhance and um, ensure that at least we are uh, given something for what we have for foregone. We, we, we were given advertising, which we, we run with um, JC Decor, a, a, a company coming from, uh, from France. We were also given ICT backbone. If you are riding in the in the how train underground, 
you can use your phone, you can use your computer, and that has been done by SPG. We were also given an opportunity to create commercial entities. Like, for example, we have got um, a situation where people want to, to have kiosks, the kiosks that, that are in here. They are, they are owned by us. We are also the ones who have given the security uh, in the system. The cleaning is done by uh, SPG as well. One of the things that we do have is the fiber. We want to use this fiber extensively because already we have done the, the Wi-Fi uh, at, at the stations. So there's more that we, are, we want to look, look, to look at. Do you have any additional observations? What I would like to see more is that by the end of the next uh, concession, is that at the end of that, uh, I would be very happy to see the, the how train run by South Africans, everything of it. Is this concession going to be for another 15 years? Is that, is that how they concession it each time? That's how we understand it. It will be another 15 years. And if it were to be South African, would you be able to organize a, a, a totally proudly South African operation? Of course, yes. We'll do that. That is one thing that I would like to see happening going forward. That was Kumi Media interviewing Nsolisi Deliza, the executive chairperson of Strategic Partners Group.